uh, here with UCLA safety Raheem Moore. I uh, want to talk a little about the young guys today. Uh, Dietrich Riley had a pretty nice hit there on Anthony Barr. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, he seems to be a guy who's uh, physically ready. Right. Um, but how hard is it to be mentally ready this early in a career? I know you were. Um, it's tough because, um, you know, some people are given with those certain talents and some people are not. And I'm not saying Dietrich's not. Sometimes it might take guys long, long enough to understand. Yeah. That's why I've been putting extra time and telling him what to do. But, you know, he's physically ready. Now, yeah, the mental game is a different part where, you know, the speed of the game, the traveling, and also just being a, uh, getting adapted to a different formations and adjustments. So, you know, it takes some time. So, you know, you can't really expect too much out of certain guys. But, you know, as long as he got me on his team, I'm going to make sure he's in the right place at the right time. You know, talk about taking that role a little bit more last uh, you know this year. Uh, you were obviously a vocal leader last year, but... Mm -hmm. With Alteron gone, that, that kind of wise old sage yeah. has seemed to, you know, ha has, has left the team. Um, do you kind of feel like you want to step into that role, not just as a leader, but as a coach in a lot of ways? I mean, I have stepped in that role. You know, I like that position that I'm in. I like being a leader. I'm always on guys, telling guys to run to the next drill, never run, never walking on the field. I've learned that in my days of Baldwin Hill, Pop Warner football, and at Dorsey. So I like that role. It makes me stay on my P's and Q's. It makes me a better man. It makes me have to be able to accept the responsibility that I have to not only get myself ready, but get other guys around me better. And that's what makes the team good, and that's what makes players good at what they do. Yeah. And a lot of guys respect what I, what I say because they know I mean no harm, but I want everybody to be the best at what we do. So, you, you know, I like, the, I like that role. Do you feel a little uh, maybe more sense of responsibility or ownership of the safety position? You know, and, and do you try and find a kid like Dietrich and say, hey, just watch what I do and listen to Funny you say that because I told him last night, I, I stopped by his room and I said, tomorrow I want you to watch everything I do. Just watch me. And in the film, watch me. Because he plays my position and, uh, you know, when um, when his time is ready to play, when his time come, or uh, me and Tony play this year and as we become seniors and his time comes, I want him to say, you know, Raheem took me up on his wing and that, I keep the whole DB tradition going. So, you know, I like guys like him who listens, he wants to get better. You know, he remember he told me um, when he was coming in, coming into college. You know, he looked up to me. He said he wanted to play with me. So that's an honor, man. And uh, it's a great day to be in this position that I'm in. And uh, that's that's a part of life, man. You know, I grew up coming in here as a freshman. I was around to me up, up, up under his wing, and so did Viney and Aaron Ware. So now it's my turn to take somebody up under my wing and keep the, uh, the whole culture and everything going. Raheem, uh, it was only two years ago that you were standing on this exact field as a freshman. I know. Uh, <laughs> What's that feel like, knowing that, you know, that's that long ago? It's Does crazy, because it like the other day, Coach Gans showed a tackling drill we do every time we come out for practice, and he showed me, and I said, is that me? I look so skinny and smaller. I had a two-year, like, two years ago, old bottle shoes. <laughs> and just looked, I look so different. I mean, my legs was just small. I looked, it didn't look like me compared to how I am now. But, you know, uh, it's funny how time can go, man, and how you grow up and, how time flies, man. I remember when I first came in here, not knowing what to expect in practice. And now I'm knowing what to expect. I'm faster to the run game, faster to the passing game. And I'm just flying around out here, man, and I feel better than I ever felt. You know, out here in camp right now, I'm not making that many plays as I, as I, will, as I was last year because they were picking on me. But now they're kind of staying away from me. But, you know, my role, my role is this year just to get everybody else around me, get everybody yeah. else confident, get Aaron and Sheldon. And Tony in good positions for them to make plays and then get the guys up front good and just get everybody else around me, man, and be a captain and be a leader. Raheem, you talk about the comfort level. Um, going along with the whole comfort thing is, is the idea of playing with instincts and not over analyzing and overreacting. Right. Uh, do you see the wheels turning for some of these young kids like you remember them turning for you? Mm -hmm. And at what point in your career did you remember when that stopped happening? You know, when you just said, all right, I'm just going to come play. You know, I have everything down. It's funny. My, after my freshman year, I played, uh, we played against SC, right? And uh, my, god, my god brother, Stephon Johnson, called me. And he said, man, hey, man, good job, man. You had a good freshman year, man. I'm proud of you. And uh, going all season, man, and get better. And as I was on the bus talking to him, I said, man, you know what? That was all college football was about. I thought college football was going to be more than what I expected, you know. But I told myself, you know what? Next year, I'm not going to think. I'm just going to go. And I told myself that. That coming year, that you know, I have to trust myself, trust my instincts, trust my ability, trust my athletic ability that I can be able to make plays. And man, I went out there last year, man, just did all I can to help win, and I'm gonna do the same this year. Now that I have some more understanding, and now that I have, um, uh, I'm, more, I'm more wise and I have more knowledge now, 
And once I put it all together, it be it, it's, it's gonna be a bad thing going on for the other offices. <laughs> good stuff. Along with the guys around me helping me too. Ah, oh, good. And good, me helping them. Good catch, uh, Raheem Moore, UCLA safety. Thanks, man. Thank you.